Hey guys, let's solve some questions on ratio and proportion. You have been given A is to B which is equals to 3 is to 4 and B is to C which is 8 is to 9. Then what is A is to C? Well, A is to B is equals to 3 is to 4. So A by B is equals to 3 by 4. I can write this. And B by C is 8 by 9. So B by C is 8 by 9. And what we want is A by C. Right? Now, if I multiply A by B and B by C, I can get A by C. Let's do that. A by B times B by C. So B and B get cancelled out. What remains is A by C. So on the right hand side a by b is 3 by 4 times b by c is 8 by 9. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 3 is 9. So a by c is 2 by 3 which is equal to the ratio is 2 is to 3. So option c is the correct answer. You have been given the ratio of a is to b is to c as 2 is to 3 is to 4. And you have to find out what is A by B is to B by C is to C by A. Now you have been given the ratio of A, B and C as 2 is to 3 is to 4. So you can always write this as A equals to 2x, B is equal to 3x and C is equals to 4x. And this x is basically a highest common factor of A, B and C. Now you have the values of a, b and c. You can always calculate a by b, b by c and c by a. So a by b is equal to 2x by 3x which is 2 by 3. b by c is equals to 3x by 4x which is 3 by 4. And c by a is equals to 4x by 2x which is 4 by 2. Let's, let me write 4 by 2 and which is 2 by 1. Okay, you have the values of each of the terms a by b, b by c and c by a. You can calculate their ratio. So a by b is to b by c is to c by a is equals to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4 is to 2 by 1. Well, none of our answers seem like those. Now we have to convert these. Now there's a property of ratios which tells us that if you multiply each of the terms in the ratio with a common term, the ratio does not change. So what I can do is I can multiply each of the terms with the LCM of the denominators which is 3 times 4. So 2 by 3 times 3 times 4 is 2. 3 by 4 times 3 times 4 and I have 2 by 1 times 3 times 4. So 2 by 1 times 3 times 4. So this 3 and this 3 get cancelled out. What we have is 2 times 4, 8. Again this 4 and this 4 gets cancelled out. What we have is 3 times 3 is 9. And is to 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So 8 is to 9 is to 24. And that's our answer, option D. If A is to B is 2 is to 3 and B is to C is 4 is to 5 and C is to D is 6 is to 7 then you have to find out A is to B is to C is to D. So the ratios that are given to us are A by B which is 2 by 3 and B by C which is 4 by 5 and C by D which is 6 by 7. Now wealth, you have been given the ratios. Now you can say that A is 2x and B is 3x. But here B is B by C is 4 by 5. So now B is equals to 4x. But this is not possible. B cannot be 3x and 4x at the same time. So we are in a fix. What should you do now? Well, you can always make this 4 as 3x. How? Well, you can actually multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 by 4. 
So this 4 get cancelled out and what remains is 3 by 15 by 4. Okay. Now I can say that A is 2x and B is 3x. Now let us assume that C is 15 by 4x. Now I cannot say that C is 6x as well because we have already assumed that C is 15 by 4x and subsequently we cannot also calculate the value of D. So why not just make this 6 as 15 by 4. So what we can do is multiply the numerator and denominator by 15 by 4 times 6 divided by 15 by 4 times 6. So now the 6 and the 6 gets cancelled out. What we have is 15 by 4 divided by, now this is 3 5 is a 15, 3 2 is a 6. So 7 times 5 is 35 by 4 2 is a 8. So C is 15x by 4 and D can be assumed as 35x by 8. Now you can find out the ratio of A, B, C and D altogether. Well, A is to B is to C is to D is 2 is to 3 is to 15 by 4 is to 35 by 8. Now we can multiply each term with the LCM of 4 and 8 which is 8. So 8 times 2 is 16 is to we have 8 times 3 is 24 is to 15 by 4 times 8. So 4 times 2 is 8 so we have 15 times 2. So 30 is to we have 35. So we have found out our answer which is option number C. If 0 0.75 is to x is proportionate to 5 is to 8 then x is equal to Well, whenever two ratios are in proportion, we can say that those two ratios are equal. So 0 0.75 is to x means 0 0.75 by x is equals to 5 is to 8. So 5 by 8. So I can find out the value of x now. So x is equals to 0 0.75 times 8 divided by 5. This is equal to 0.75 times 8 is 6 by 5 and 6 by 5 is 1.20. So option B is the correct answer here. If the ratio of x and y is 5 is to 2, then what is the ratio of 8x plus 9y and 8x plus 2y? So we have been given the ratio of x and y, which is 5 is to 2. So I can always assume a constant and say that x is equals to let's say the constant is k so x is equals to 5k and y is equals to 2k. Now that we have the values of x and y we can get the ratio of these two terms. So 8x plus 9y divided by 8x plus 2y. So this is equal to put in the values of x and y that we have 8 times 5k plus 9 times 2k which is the value of y divided by 8 times 5k again plus 2 times 2k. So this is equal to 40k plus 9 to the 18k divided by again 8 5 is a 40k plus 4k is equal to 58k divided by 44k. So this is equals to dividing both the numerators and denominators by 2. So 2 times 29 is 58 and 2 times 22 is 44. So 29 by 22 is the ratio. So option C is the correct answer.